Hi guys, it's Alex here with Recombo and I'm taking another look at the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. We saw this device when it launched earlier this year, but now we've got it in to really put it through its paces. So we're going to take a closer look at really what makes this device tick. I mean, first and foremost, you can see it is a perfectly scaled down version of Samsung's 2013 flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S4. You get the same plastic body all the way around with that sort of hyperglaze finish on the back. It feels very nice in the hand. Yes, it is a bit plasticky, but it's smooth and the corners are nicely rounded and the edges are nicely rounded too and it feels really quite nice. Actually looks quite premium too with these uh, metal accents around the edge, which is just like its bigger brother, the S4. It also looks a lot more premium than the S3 Mini did compared to the Galaxy S3 last year, so it's a step up in that respect as well. Uh, on the front here, we still have the uh, physical hardware home button and the two capacitive keys either side in true Samsung style. We have chrome accents around the earpiece here and we have a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, which sits atop a uh, 4.3 inch QHD Super AMOLED display. So it's Super AMOLED tech, Samsung's favored uh, screen type. And so you'll get more punchy colors, which we'll look at in a minute. If I flip it around the sides here, we have the volume rocket on the left side the power lock key on the right side, and on the bottom the uh, microphone and the micro USB lead uh, port, excuse me, to uh, charge and transfer data. And on the top we have the headphone jack, a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. And we also retain the IR blaster, which means that this device, even though it's a scaled down version, still retains the watch on features, including the peel um, based IR TV remote. So you'll be able to control your TV remote, your Skybox, your FreeSat box, your Freeview box, your Virgin box, whatever sort of system you have you'll be able to control it with the S4 Mini, which is a great premium feature that's trickled down to the S4 Mini. Um, on the back here, the back itself is removable um, and we have an eight megapixel camera, much like the one in last year's flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S3. So it has the same eight megapixel sensor rather than the 13 of its flagship, Bigger Brother. The single um, loudspeaker and a single LED flash. And if I pull off, snap off the plastic back cover, like so, we have the 1900 milliamp hour battery underneath, which should provide enough juice. And it also features NFC in the battery as all Samsung, modern Samsungs do. So you have NFC as well as an expandable uh, micro SD port underneath the battery, which accommodates up to 64 gigabytes of space. So there is really a lot of expandability and a lot of premium features, like I said, with NFC and the IR blaster included in the device. Now, if we flip the device on, you might notice that if I swipe in the top here, the reason we can't scroll right now is because I haven't set it up with lock screen widgets, but we do have lock screen widgets, and that is because this is running Android 4.2.2, so it is the latest build of Android, and over which Samsung have laid the TouchWiz Nature UX 2.0, so the latest version of TouchWiz Nature UX, modified slightly from the S4 because, of course, there are certain features that have been either toned down or removed completely. If I unlock the device, you can also see we have the same weather widget and a whole host of the same Samsung apps. Things like the Samsung apps icon are the latest version, so you know you are running the latest iteration of Samsung's interface, which is wonderfully smooth. Despite this being a dual core device, this is actually running a 1.7 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 series processor paired to one and a half gigs of RAM. So it's unusual to have a gig and a half of RAM, but it proves perfect for the general interface and usability. You still get all of the widgets and all of the great Samsung additions that they pack into their phones. Now, if I just swipe back to the home screen, uh, another way to show some of the features that aren't present are if we hop along to the um, all of the different uh, connected features in the notifications drawer, you can see here we have a few emissions. So we have driving mode, we have smart stay, things like smart scroll where you can use your eyes to scroll down a page without touching the device, that's no longer present. NFC is still present, but certain uh, some of the air features, the air view, um, that is no longer present as well, but you still get some really nice premium features nonetheless. S-Beam of course is still present, NFC is still present, like I mentioned earlier. I think that is really a really good overview of all of the kind of focus key points of the Samsung Galaxy S4, which is arriving in the market now. If you've got any questions, drop us a line down below and head to recombi.com for anything else. Thanks a lot.